Hi, this is Jimmy and Joe Entman from JNL Harley Davidson. And this year at JNL, we've been customizing some bikes and putting them on the showroom floor. The first one that we did, we're proud to say, was Mitch's Mad Custom, a customized 2012 Electric Glide. And that one has already hit the road. We sold that one yesterday. It's still here at JNL Harley Davidson. If you want to stop in and check it out, it will also have it at the Winterfest at Wheels at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. Um, you can see the pictures of it on our Facebook page, uh, but check it out. The one I want to introduce to you today is this 2009 Dyna, Dyna Glide that we just recently finished customizing. Um, we've had it for a little while. We've done some really cool stuff to it. And I'm going to let my brother Joe explain a little bit about what we did. Yeah, I mean, the main difference with this bike, first of all, is that we start off with a used bike. It is a 2009 Dyna, as Jimmy said, with right around 6,600 miles on it. We just thought it would be fun to take a used bike and incorporate some of the new parts and accessories to it. Some of the main features on the bike obviously is going to be the paint set, which it is a numbered paint set. It's number 83 out of 200. Uh, it's done by Harley Davidson themselves, so it's great. It has a nice good warranty on it. We installed it here. Um, it has a real heavy metallic red flag, which really stands out, especially under good lighting. Some of the other main things we really did to the bike is we did a, a 16 inch Harley Davidson handlebar. It originally was a uh, Chrome, but what we did with a lot of items on this bike is we actually sent them off to be powder coated. We didn't do the normal black gloss powder coating, we did it more of a flat black, which is also on the wheels themselves. Are both, the, both the front and the rear are going to be in the flat black, as well as the lower legs, the lower and upper clamps for the front end, um, as well as a lot of the engine covers we did on the, the top of the engine rocker boxes, the timer cover. Uh, transmission top and side cover, battery cover on the other side that's going to be your primary uh, and uh, primary and some of, I think the horn cover is also done while incorporating some of the chrome pieces still so we did a lot of black but we left some of the chrome to kind of break it up and give it a different look. Um, we also did some of the turn signals and the, the fender struts in the back so realistically I mean it really turned out well even the dash which was normally a wrinkle black we did in the flat black as well so we incorporated a lot of the chrome and black, like I mentioned, as well as the Harley Davidson Willie G logo on, on the and various engine parts. And I think it really turned out well. It's probably one of our staff's favorite bikes that we have out right now. It's just a real hot looking ride and, it's, and it is for sale. We do also have the Vance and Hines uh, exhaust system, which does feature the full 220 degree wrap around heat shield. So if it does blue, you don't notice the bluing. Uh, chrome, or excuse me, gloss black forward controls incorporate a little bit of gloss black there. But overall, the bike turned out, if I do say so myself, pretty fantastic. Thanks, Joe. Like uh, Joe said, this bike is for sale. Uh, we're going to have it actually on the main showroom floor, the new bike showroom floor, for a little while, then we'll move it down to the pre owned center. Uh, but with that, I'll start it up so you guys can hear it. Again, you can see this bike at JL Harley Davidson. You can visit us on our website, www.jl-harley.com, or you can go ahead and follow us on Facebook. Once again, thank you very much, and stay tuned for more customized bikes from JL Harley Davidson.